Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Okay, today's episode, I guess I gotta, we all gotta put our seatbelt on for this one. This is something that's been going around social media for the longest of time and people have not come to a conclusion behind who is who comes out on top the main chick or the side chick they got nothing to lose because they're close to death which one is better the side chick or the main chick i don't know but we're gonna jump into this um episode right here and if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe right now let's get it Let's do this. Side chick versus main chick. Who's winning? Let's settle this. In my opinion, it's the side chick. The side chick wins, ding, 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 ding. Because number one, as a main chick, if he got a side chick, that means you automatically lost, okay? But also, the side chick lose too, because even if you catch feelings for him, that don't mean he gonna leave his main chick for the side chick. But one thing I do know and that I've seen it. I've never been a side chick before, but of course I know many people who was. And they actually like being side chicks, let me tell you why. For one, you're being taken care of. You're being paid for your secrecy. So shut up and I'm going to get you this bag. Shut up and I'm going to pay you, you know, I'm going to pay your bills. Boom. That's a fact. And also, I've talked to men who had side chicks. And... They really just want to lay their hat where they find peace. So maybe the main chick isn't bringing him as much peace as they think. Or some things that she did in the beginning of the relationship, she no longer do. He may be falling out of love with her, but don't want to let her go because of the kids, because of the marriage or whatnot. But a side chick, you getting dates, you getting bags, clothes, shoes, you getting this man's time and attention. Which is something I'm sure the main chick is yearning for. This is my man. I want is it sad out here or is it just a reality? I want, you, I want you to give me bags, dates, time, and attention. But he done found something he's seen outside of the relationship. It only gets bad for the side chick, number one, if the main chick finds out because you never know how she's going to retaliate. Number two, if the side chick catch feelings. As a side chick, you got to know your place, know your role. This is another woman's man. Although he may be acting like your man doing everything for you, at the end of the day, he not going to leave her for you. Maybe he will, but in most cases, they don't leave their man for you because they sticking around in an unhappy relationship for some reason. And also, you don't know the man's intention. As a side chick, you don't know the man. Sorry, y'all. I got a phone call. Anyway, um... Being a side chick, it, I mean, it's definitely a, a no for me because I like all my man's time and attention. And, and and as a main woman, if you got to go outside of the relationship and I'm not making you happy, as a man, you should be able to discuss it with your main chick and, and make it happen. Okay? If you got to go outside the relationship as a man, there's a part of you that's already gone out of the relationship. So you need to do your best to go ahead and repair that if you feel the relationship is worth saving instead of cheating on your main chick. Um, cause I would never want to be a side chick, but I would never want to be a main chick that's getting cheated on either. I, and neither one fits me. Um, but like I said, in my opinion, the side chick is, is winning hands down. She getting everything from this man that the main chick wish she could get. They win for me. <laughs> when a man is dealing with two women, one he lies to and the other he is completely honest with, which one does he love? He loves the one he lies to. He loves it. He loves he, he loves himself. I feel like he, he loves, loves himself. Because I just he feel like her. if you gotta lie, then you scared of something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm you, you scared, scared you won't let me fuck no more. No, no you I'm scared of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. No, I'm scared no, you won't no, let me. But if you telling a girl the truth, you giving her the choice. Like, look, this, that, and the third. Because she's not gonna go no more regardless. Da, da, da. No, but you're giving. Before anything. Some people have this whole love thing and this whole hookup thing completely. I don't know. Her 
choice. But you also saying I don't care if you go when you tell right, the truth. Right, exactly. I don't you care tell her the you truth, go, and she, you, you basically saying like, look, I'm fucking on this other bitch. Da 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 da. Yeah yeah yeah. I understand what you want to do. If she stay, now whatever happens after staying, that's on her. No 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 no. If we got, if we give it to you that raw, it's because we know you're not going nowhere. Cause your self esteem is that low. Exactly. <laughs> so no, a nigga lie to you when he when he's trying to deceive you because he doesn't know where your strength is. When your strength is high, I you get the so. lie. When your I strength is so. low, you gonna get that truth. Okay, so let me. So let me. I cheated on my wife when we were dating, and it got to the point where like I had to really. Rest. I think sometimes when people cheat, they make the assumption that the person that they or the people that they affected have to move to healing as fast as they want them to so that they can feel better about themselves. When the truth of the matter is that no matter what your reason for cheat cheating was, you took the option to not be a part of it away from your significant other or your partner. And in taking away that option, you have to give your partner time to trust not only themselves and you but the environment around them because cheating is not just me finding out that you slept with somebody or spoke with somebody or was in somebody's text message it's not about that it's about the fundamental like primitive reason why we trusted you in the first place and when you before we go any further just take it with a grain of salt and realize that, you know, it's not everybody, but in some ways in today, it looks like the side chick might be up a few points. Let's continue. Take away that foundation. You eradicate everything that came before the affair. So you have to give your person, especially if they decide to try to work through it with you. There's also like a selfishness in it, but the time the grace and the respect to heal as they need they see fit because if it takes them a year or two years you need to understand that you took away a lot of their security and safety when you decided that you were going to be with somebody else i just think that a lot of people forget that you didn't just have an affair you broke the foundation on which your relationship standed on. It's just, yo, people need time to heal before they, oh, I can't say that. This is the internet. Anyway. I've never seen a man as mad as when his woman does that to him. Like cheating? Disrespects him. Oh, for sure. I Why are side chicks so faithful? Because that's her man too. I don't care if he's his wife. The moment he steps out and gets himself a side chick, he no longer just belongs to you. She's his other woman. And as a wife, if you know your man has a side chick and she, the side chick know about you, if neither one of y'all want to leave him, at that point, please stop all this arguing. Please stop all this main chick, side chick. Just come together. Come together, work together, and just be a happy, peaceful family. The post said that the man cares more about the side chick than he does his actual girl. Okay. Now, as much as that pissed me off when I saw it, probably like 70%. I'm going to tell y'all why. And before y'all say, oh my God, that's not true. What the band, you for the side chicks? No, I'm not for the side bitches. But let me, let me just say what I'm going to say first, okay? Damn. All right. The reason why, even though that might be true for some cases, I ain't gonna say some, y'all. I ain't gonna fuck at home, though. It's probably true for probably like 70% of side bitches that be dealing with men and shit. The reason why a lot of the times that they probably love the side chick more is because they represent a part of, you know, a man's life of pleasure. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the times we all know that the side chick is doing something that, you know, the main chick at home is not from doing, okay? Whether that be sexual, whether that be just talking it out, you know, whether them, you know, just having a conversation, some shit, just talk about everyday shit, like, it's something that he's not getting from his actual girlfriend, okay? Now, this is the part where I say sometimes they love them more, because a lot of the times, these men be they selves with side chicks, okay? They literally be themselves. 
you know you know why they beat themselves because they enter into a relationship with them and it's no judgment zone you know they already know they're not together they already know that you know they're not in that type of space they are open more open with one another so when they're dealing with somebody they've already came to that type of connection where they already been open with one another they can actually be more of themselves you know which is why a lot of the times y'all see these men going above and beyond for these side chicks bro and I hate to say it, but it's absolutely true. You will see the side chicks getting these, you know, fancy cars, all types of getting their career paid for, all types. Meanwhile, it'll be the girlfriends that's not even getting half of that type. And they'll be their like girlfriends for years. That's because a lot of the times, they just not themselves. And when you're yourself with somebody, you know, you can actually freely be yourself with another person. It hits a little bit different, okay? I am not condoning being a side chick. Please don't come on my comments with this. I'm just telling you of pure observation, okay? And y'all got to also understand that with, when they with those side chicks and shit, that's pure fantasy type. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So then when they wind up actually do, when they do, I'm not going to say all of them do it, but when the man actually do leave their main girl to be with the side chick and shit, fantasy die. Because now the side chick's be your main chick and she expects more out of you now. Now you have to deal with this, you know, whole realization now. She's not doing the things she was doing to you before when she was a side chick because she's your main chick now. Now she actually sees what the main chick was dealing with. And she, you know what I'm saying? She's with you all the time. Now you start to actually see things about that side chick that you didn't even know that existed with her. Because a lot of times they're not even with the side chick 24 hours a day. Hey, say, correct me if I'm wrong or not. I, I know I might, I might ruffle a few feathers with this. But ain't nobody more faithful than a married man to his side chick. That's a fact. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Let me tell you something. A married man that's cheating and he got a side chick, you can go holler at his wife before he lets you holler at his side chick. I done, listen, let me tell you something. I done seen it firsthand. A ma ain't nobody more possessive and more faithful to their side chick than a married man. Let me tell you something. I've seen some married men that would literally get out the bed with their woman to ride past that side chick house to make sure that a single man like you or me. There's got to be some logic behind all of this. There's got to be. Not over though. Y'all can say what y'all want, but I'm much happier being a side chick. I ain't got to stress. I ain't got to worry about where this man is at, bitch. Because if he ain't with me, he with you, especially if I'm doing my job right. How I know he with you? Bitch, cause that's where I sent him back to. <laughs> Bills stay paid, ain't gotta worry about no type of financial barriers. Ain't gotta wake up to no stinking breath and him farting and got a doodle -doo spanking up the bathroom. No, none of that, he do that shit at your house. <laughs> Then the females be trying to get mad because I'm dealing with that nigga. It's like, girl, I'm helping you. Your dude was a sleazeball, baby. I don't want your sleazeball to myself. Your dog was on a prowl, bitch. That dog was on a loose before he started dealing with me. Bitch, I'm the reason why he come back home and be a family man happily unhappily. But yeah, it just feel good to not have to worry about a nigga cheating on you. They ain't got thing, baby girl. You mad at me, but I got secrets that you don't even fuck. I know the shit that you don't know. I'm around the friends that know you. That's sitting there playing in your face. But you mad at me. Like, I'm the bitch that you married. I would rather be a side chick. It is what it is. And I like my position. And I get to dress corporate. Like my corporate nigga. I mean, my corporate husband. There's there's three different types of side chicks. Okay. Of side chicks. Yes. Three different types of side chicks. Three different okay. types of side chicks. Never heard of this. There's the managerial side chick. Okay. Which is the one that um she's like almost your girlfriend. Okay. Like she knows everything about your life. She knows you have a girlfriend. She's like borderline main. Yeah. She knows you have a girlfriend. When you say, Hey, my wife is you can tell about your wife, that's where you vent. Ne. Then there's executive side chick. Okay. Ne. That one doesn't know too much about your life. Um, doesn't operate very well. 
Okay. There's less things that she can do. Yes. You know, well, you know, with, uh, with the managerial side chick, you can ask her for like favors and be like, yo, okay. can you please do this yeah, for me? Yeah, or like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then there's night owl side chick, which is the sneaky link level. Yeah. With the one you That's see, number three. That's number three. Those are the different types of side chicks. It's night that's owl. But number three is not a side yeah, chick. Let's just call her what she is. Yeah. She's a sneaky link. Yeah? She's a sneaky, sneaky link. That's yeah. Oh, so we must name number three sneaky yeah. link. Sure, I'm change it in my notes. Um, to asked you guys, yeah. you said, have you guys ever been side chicks? Now you said no. Not that but, we know of. Yes, but you've been with people that are in relationships. That makes you a side chick. Baby, what do a side chick do that a wife don't? Um, I feel like a side chick understands their role. They accept you for who they truly are. Hey, sex, whenever, however, fun type, party type, less nagging, less stress. Facts. Um, I feel like I do all that as a wife because I'm a <laughs> wife, one of the wives. <laughs> you know, I'm with whatever you with, pretty much. Um, I respect it. <laughs> the difference between his side chick and his wife. Mm -hmm. The boy asked her, what is the difference? And he says, I'll show you. So he texts the same message to two people. He says, I love you. He sends to the wife. Excuse me, into the concubine. Mm. And the responses come. The concubine says, Oh, my king, yeah, I missed you so much. You just put a smile on my face. When are you coming to see mommy and do what you always do to mommy? Mm. Right? And the response from the wife, the wife says, <laughs> While while you love me, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because she knows the bigger picture. Yeah. Honor. Oh, nah. This girl just spoke to this head. Yeah. The wife just spoke to this head. Mm. So this man who does not understand the balance between the two will fall for this one. The one where my kid. Because the man takes... Because, you see, it's hard being a man, Buffett. Where's a man who's saying, what's the value of, 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 of values? What's and the value of price? And a man who has no examples. Absol absolute. Or you yes. have the wrong example. Yes. I dated a married man for 25 years. And we was friends for the next 20. When I met him, he told me he loved his wife. And he loved me. And baby, he treated me like a goddess. Queen, and I didn't his household. His his wife didn't even know I exist. Trust me when I tell you so. And if any would have told the bitch the fuck, huh, I just don't know what would have happened when I f him up. I don't know what guy would have done with they so It's all about respect. Okay, okay. Like I said, it's not everybody, and this is not for everybody. But who do you guys think are women in these times? main chick or the side chick and do they have some kind of truth behind this because there's always a little ounce of truth in everything so you guys let me know leave your comments down below and we'll explain it on my morning show until next time it's your boy mickey fenty aka mickey made it if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe